How long does it take to farm 1 million guardians? That's the question I have today. Using my newly trained ocean monument, I'm gonna build the best possible guardian farm to farm 1 million guardians as fast as possible. Let's get into it. First things first, I need some essential resources like obsidian glass, blocks, and redstone items. Lucky for me, I have farmed some most of these resources, meaning we can almost begin immediately. But the first thing I'm gonna do is actually build some beacons. That is one beacon with haste to. That is the second beacon. Before we start breaking down this entire ocean monument, we're gonna mark out each corner. Now it's simply just a matter of mining down this entire ocean monument so we can build the farm. As you can see, I've mined away this entire ocean body net now. We only have the floor left, which I think we're actually gonna keep. Die, die, die. And even though I don't think it's really necessary, I'm also gonna break down all of this. Just so everything is flat, it's gonna look nice, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> This is gonna take a long, long time. Let's get a new pickaxe, then do a time lapse. This is how the monument looked in the start of the video, and this is now. I've removed everything all the way down to Y40. It should now be prime time to be able to build this farm here. What I'm gonna need is a lot of obsidian. Why I brought all of these shulker boxes. I just need all the obsidian to go in lines like this. Then we're gonna make portals everywhere. I think to really make this build be awesome, I'm gonna use prismarine to build it. That is the first row. Let's do a second one. So because an ocean monument is so big, you need to make three portals on each, like, row. This is 20 blocks long, this is 18 blocks, and this is 20 blocks. I think in terms of height, we're gonna go up to, like, 20. Now can I light this up? Yes, I can. But I think yet again, we can do a time lapse. This farm is insane, but also takes such a huge effort to build. Thousands of blocks, tens of hours, all to build the best guardian farm. Design is made by Shulkercraft, link in description. So this looks absolutely giant. But before we can really build this farm on this side of the world, then we have to build up the nether side with all the storage. So we're gonna go up a lot of blocks. I don't know exactly how much, I don't really think it matters. Just gotta make sure I have space to build all of this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we have all of this, which is very good, but we need some more specific resto nights. We need some honey blocks, and also some pack dice. Definitely also some hoppers. Get some more repeaters. Now let's get some glass going, so that I can see all of the guardians die. Just build all of this up. Let's get some sticky pistons in, and get in some cyan carpet. This is what I have going so far. We have the die shoot where the guardians will fall and die. The items will be pushed with this. We're then gonna go into this storage area. Throw in some items. I think we're gonna see that we can collect it all. But yes, we do have the items. But with how many items I'm getting from this farm, we need way more storage than this. And I think the general idea is now on the way with this storage system. Now we gotta do an item sorter. Let's get in all these chests. At this point, I had spent four hours on this project. Everything was moving along perfectly. It was going fast until I ran into my first huge issue. The farm itself. Since I would be building lots underwater, my first step was getting myself my conduit. When that was done, Pastor Hita will explain how the farm works. Now let me show you how I built this farm. First, we light up two portals on each side. Place all of the glass in. Now we're gonna get in water. I don't exactly know how to place this water. I'm just gonna place it like so. Then we use the kill to hopefully make all of this into water sources. And now that all of this water resource blocks, now we just gotta add in all all of the stairs. Get in the temporary blocks. Remove the temporary blocks. Then get in the second row of stairs. And we just have to do this everywhere. I'm gonna be here for a long time. This was what took so long in this project, building these sections in the farm. Just for reference, this replay here is 1 hour and 30 minutes. It was such tedious work that I was honestly thinking whether or not this project was even worth it. I got in all the water and placed kelp in all the sections. So this is currently the progress so far with the farm. As you can see, we've gotten water in most of these. We still have to get more kelp in... One, two, three, four, five, six more compartments. Then it's done. I'm not doing all of the stairs because that simply just takes too long time. Now we have to make sure the storage is working. Oi, boom. So I don't think the tower is tall enough so the guardians don't even die. So I'm gonna do is lift this high up into the sky. I'm also gonna make the fall shoot one block wider. So I've now fixed this drop shoot. Now to fix the storage. So I think I found a solution to my issue where the items got stuck right here. What I need to do is lift this up so all of it is 
is at the same level. I have to redo this entire storage system. Let us do it. I think this now should work. I don't really know about the timing for this one. But this one definitely works, this section, and I hope that this one works too. I have no clue. Only one way to find out, and that is by AFKing a little at the farm. Okay, so I definitely have gotten some drops in here. Just gotten some crystals. I can tell that the farm is actually working. Let's make the AFK spot, and just start to see how effective this farm really is. So a lot of time have passed, and I've spawned in a bot to see how the farm is going. So far, we've done the stair system for almost half of the farm. The goal is to do it on all the sections, but that is taking a long, long time. Let's see how efficient this farm really is now. Now. So I'm not getting any spawns, which is weird. There comes a few. Wait, wait, there's a lot. Holy shit. So they only go through in waves, which is probably why I need to finish up all of the farms. It is taking very, very long though, but let us do it. So I finished up a lot more of these farms. Now let's see how many guardians we've killed. Now I think this is a good time to tell how I'm counting this. So you see all these chests here. This entire row here is of prismarine shards. Each guardian when they die drop about zero to two prismarine shards. Which means I need one million prismarine shards. They've killed one million guardians. And let us just see. Okay, yeah. Each of these rows hold 20 double chests and 19 hoppers. Which means each row holds 75,000 items. We have 14 rows here. Which is just... Just over 1 million prismarine shards. We just gotta wait until all of these chests are filled up. And it seems that the first four are completely filled up. Which means we just have to make more farms and then just AFK. Six hours later, how is it going? Let's see if we've killed one million guardians. How much has been filled up? If this entire thing is filled up, then that means... Wait, it isn't. Okay, and it isn't filled up over here, but it's very close. We're definitely close to being done with this project. But I'm gonna spend this time to finish up the entire farm so we get the most efficient guardian farm possible. Let us keep going, we only need three more rows. Let's go ahead and check if I farm one million guardians. And if this chest is filled up, we have it. Yes! It's all filled up! <laughs> we have 20 chests and 14 rows, 19 hoppers, which means we have killed more than 1 million guardians. At the same time, we also have so much prismarine crystal and we have so much fish. This is how the money man looked in the start of the video, and this is now. An incredible farm that farmed more than 1 million guardians in less than 30 hours. I'm on a creative world, and how does the farm look on the nether side? That's definitely a lot of guardians. Holy smokes! Just- oh! That is absolutely crazy. And that was pretty much all I had for this video. My name is Chihita. Thanks for watching.